Hi and welcome to the inaugural episode of Touching On. This is going to be a series of two episode Let's Plays where I just touch on games that I actually find interesting but not necessarily interesting enough for a full Let's Play. To give a perfect example of this, Trove. Um, as you can see it's Vauxhall based um, which is kind of cool and um, it has that kind of Minecraft air to it, but it's, if anything, I think it's probably closer to, uh, um, it's closer to a Terraria, I think, a three-dimensional Terraria. Now, I wonder. I started playing this last night, as you can see, I'm level two, because um, the very early stuff was pretty frickin' boring. But, um... I see. And it's quite a fun game. I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. Now, as you can see, we have these grey things. Now, that's my house. Hang on, what does it say? Okay, cornerstones are like your absolute bare bones starting out location. And they're kind of cool, but you can summon them anywhere. If you claim a cornerstone, it summons your house along with everything that's inside it. So, for example, I have a rejuvenation center station. I have a hub portal. I have one skeleton trophy. I have a class changer, which we'll go into in a minute. A forge, a crafting bench, and I have a deconstructor. Now, let's start with simply. This character class is the gunslinger, as you can see, and they're pretty badass. I mean, they're fun. Your secondary fire, well, your starting secondary fire, is basically a charged attack. And they're, it's a good, fun beginning class. It, I mean, there's no getting away from that. Um, if you use the class changer, however... You have act the option to buy these classes, which are, I don't know yet, I haven't got enough cubits. I need to buy cubits by um, playing, the, get cubits by playing the game. And, okay, for example, the, the Gunslinger. Gunslinger is an eagle-eyed ranged fighter who blasts enemies with dual pistols, light up your foes with well-aimed charge shot, and then use your ultimate gun to bring them down in a hail of energy bullets. The Knight is a durable armored fighter who wades fearlessly into melee combat. Charge your enemies to close distance, but if you get things get messy, your ultimate will restore your health and let you shrug off blows with ease. So, it's not so much that there is only a single character class. I'm actually going to turn the music down a little bit in this because... Uh, there we go. So, you switch, and it's very, very simple. There we go. We have changed character class. That's all there is to it, and... Um, my knight use at the moment is using this, which is I can't remember the name of the weapon. Isn't that terrible? Uh, inventory. No, it's not inventory. Bag. So if I pick. <coughs> oh, excuse me. If I drop this, which is my beginning weapon, in there, you see it's a cadaverous carver, which does thirty-one physical damage plus one attack. Um. And I started actually my first drop was this literally my very first drop was the vile bile blade Which is not quite as powerful, but makes me faster and it gives them a poisons Now I Think at this point it's kind of a much muchness what you use. I don't think at this level it really matters um, But I did get these last night and I decided not to put them on until I started so This is my face item it's plus 66 maximum health, plus 3 attack speed. It looks like, really lifelike, except, you know, not. And let's see what that's done to my character. Oh, charming. And the Lynx ears are a hat. They increase my health and they increase my health regeneration, which is kind of cool. And they um, make me like Pikachu. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. I cannot do Pikachu. Pikachu! Um, 
these are ores that are used for crafting and some of these are only dropped by mobs some of them you dig up which is where the terraria minecraft part comes up comes in and they are used over here with your crafting bench so as you can see i've already built a hub portal i've already built a deconstructor and a forge these I'm waiting to build because I just don't have the right materials. Although I think I have enough to make the cube converter. I do. So, or I don't. I have, what do I need? 10, 10. I need primal blue. Okay, so let's go try and find some primal blue. And I'll very quickly show you combat and I'll show you how the crafting system works in this. Now, I don't know where I'm going to find primal blue. And that's being honest. I have no idea. I'm hoping in here in the haunted forest. Um, yeah, I'll stick with this character for now. As you can see, you don't have to worry about picking these up. They just pick up. So if you press tab, it changes you from adventure mode to craft to um, kind of crafting mode. Primal purple. Okay. And as you can see, this is part of where why I say it's a bit more like Terraria to me than Minecraft it's not so much about materials it's more about it's far more about picking up blocks and just immediately building with them so for example this is shapestone or it should be so you just right click, which fires your mining laser, and uh, ah, screw it, let's go down and explore. Now, you might think that, okay, it's gonna be awkward to get out of here, but it's actually not. Just look down and left click to place blocks, and there you go, you can jump out up to two blocks. So in some ways, it's actually more forgiving than uh, Minecraft or Terraria, at least in that way. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get blue blocks in this world. But what I might find is I may find... Aha, there's a temple over there. And this is the, the other part of this game that I have to say I'm really enjoying. Ba-oom. What is that? It's a spiteful spatula. <laughs> I like that. Oi! Now, a few months ago I started playing a similar game called Cube World. I say similar, except that this is definitely more polished, it's definitely more inclusive, it has much more to it already in beta than Cube World has. Now, admittedly, Cube World was being produced by a, a, a couple, essentially in their free time. And um, it was fun. Die! Whew. And there we go. Ding. You gained 15 mastery points for leveling up. You gained 125 experience. Cool. What are these? Oh, they hurt. I like them. Can I pick them up? No, I can't. Some things you can pick up and some things just shatter when you try to pick them up, which is kind of a pity. Oh, hello. Oh. That's my portal back to the lands of learning, and... Let's see, I got a brass blowgun, which will be good for my gunslinger, I presume? Okay. Well, so that's based the basis of basics of the combat. I mean, it's pre the combat right now is very simple. Which is not a bad thing. I actually like that this combat system is so simple. It makes the game thoroughly enjoyable. You're not spending a whole time worrying about skill rotations and the like.
Now, you might think that there's no point in doing anything else. I'm down here and that's it. And, you know, there's nowhere else to go. But actually, just like with Minecraft and Terraria for that matter, it is worth going deeper underground. For this reason. Woo! Yep, we are underground and... What's that? Purple. I want primal blue. I also want more shapes done. Um, as I was saying, all this stuff... All the really good stuff is underground. You want to go underground. Now, I'm sure at some point they intend to add underground mobs. Um, I would be very surprised if they didn't, and I am very sorry that I keep saying am. I've been meaning to say that um, my partner has given out to me for saying am so much. I presume that this is actually the dungeon we were just in, or at least a part of it, like the lower levels of it, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but anyway. Yes, we... Uh, Move on quickly, and um, okay, we're in the haunted woods now. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, how do I get down there? <laughs> Okay, and we need to uh, go onward. Um, I'm just hoping right now to find something. Uh... Okay, that's primal grey. I wonder if there's something at the heart of this. And I actually want primal grey to finish the uh, the ceiling of the first layer of my of my cornerstone. And this is what I'm hoping they're going to do in the future is add smaller blocks so you can do a bit more in the way of uh, shaping your cornerstone. I'd also am hoping that they will make bigger cornerstones or give you the option to buy them. Now there is something called a corner world. I think it's called a corner world. And um, I've yet to find out what the story with those is. Okay, we'll just dig up a hundred of these. Okay, that's enough of those. Let's find a way out. She says, digging up more shape stuff. dead end okay so yes um, these are all I think these blocks are meant to be a meter by a meter I'm not 100% certain but I am hoping in the future that they will add smaller blocks to allow us to more customize our cornerstones I would like to see cornerstones get bigger and not usually so maybe twice the size or possibly at most four times just to give us the option to do something really unique with our cornerstones. Just want to see, did I? I did. Now, if you see in the OR um, control at the bottom of the screen on the uh, thing. If I press R and throw that out, it gives me what's called a miner's trove, a miner's trove, which is where I believe this gets the game gets its name for. And as you can see, I got a shadow diamond, which is a crafting material created through ring crafting. 
I've also gotten the those of course and many many other things and you can also switch between your build and adventure modes here but it's those troves are what I believe they got the name for the game from and they're actually pretty cool I quite like them I think that they're very useful I think that they're a good way of encouraging is this purple yes yeah, purple of encouraging um, exploration and crafting and mining you don't just get shape stone and things like that from mining you also get a little bit more than that you can get higher end crafting materials which is nice and frankly important uh, other things I would like to see change is I would like build mode to get rid of this I would very much like to see a build mode where you're not this shadow form and I I realize that the reason for the shadow form is probably largely due to it being in beta there's still a lot to be added to this game and it's understandable that they are gradually rolling it, rolling it out but it would be nice to see the option to actually see your character properly while you're building okay um, I have no idea where I am where's my map okay I'm facing completely the wrong direction ooh I already did that one. Okay, this way. You're pretty much always going to be hitting these. <laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> As you can see, there's always the, you're always going to find new caves and new things to adventure in. And in the next episode, I'm actually going to use my hub and go to an ad go to an adventure world because it's something I haven't done yet. I may need to turn down the actual game audio as well because uh, I'm not entirely sure how loud that is. On my headset, it is very loud. Map. Oh, we're going the wrong way again. I also want to figure out whether there are skill points in this game but for now I will just very quickly show you how you build your house if I have enough materials I'll craft something basically anything ten experience nice Oi, come back here Oi, you vegan Oh, there's a ravine here. Interesting. That's something new. I haven't seen those before. I'm kind of just hoping for a decent drop, to be quite honest. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want to travel all the way over there, you can find the nearest empty cornerstone. And there we go. I'm home. Now, to very quickly show how this works, Go into your build mode, press the number of the block you want, and just left click. And if you misplace, you just remine. Ah, uh, buggery. And it is as simple as this. Now, this is not Minecraft. I'm sorry, it's not. If anything Minecrafty, it probably parallels Hexish most closely. Which is no bad thing. I can't believe I did that. I'm a big fan of the Hexis uh, the English language, you're failing me. I'm a big fan of the 
Hexit mod pack. Switch to my Gunslinger and um, where's my blow gun? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Now, where was that? Um, yeah, that's a big jump in weapons damage, so that's cool. Now, I'm going to very quickly just uh, throw that down and get my minus trove. Um, let's see, do I have materials for any of this? I do not. Utility, Rejuvenation Station, Class Changer, and a Barber Shop, I do not either. I need more... What do I need? I need more Warp Seed. Okay, well, I'll get that very quickly before the next episode, and we'll show that. I can craft this, which is a novice portal adventure, adventure portal. So, we craft this. This is the crafting system. Craft a second one, fuck it, why not? Now, go into build mode, press 6, let's put it down. Press E to enter a novice adventure ideal for worlds 1 to 3. And so we shall as soon as we, uh, well, next week, next Wednesday. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying am so much. It's actually driving me nuts now that I notice it. I will... We will come back to this on Wednesday. Uh, next we This day week. I will... Jump in here, do a novice world. We will try and add a little bit more to the game world. And that will be it for this. for Just for now. If you really enjoy this and you want me to see, do me, see me do more of it. Let me know in the comments section. I am quite willing to do let's plays of anything I touch on. As long as my viewers want it, this can be added to a, as a let's play once I'm finished Torchlight, for example. After this, I'm not sure what I'll touch on next, but it'll it'll basically be a free-to-play game. One of the things I want to do with these touch-ons are either free-to-play or incredibly low-budget games. Anyway, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you again next Wednesday for more Touching on Trove, and... Um, have a wonderful evening. Love you all. Bye.